Hey guys, happy Friday and welcome back to another town tour and this beautiful little week of Animal Crossing uploads we are doing in celebration for some Animal Crossing surprises I have coming next week. So today we are going to be visiting the town of Circle, like I say in like all of these town tour videos. If you would like to check out this mayor's tumblr, if I can find the original mayor's tumblr, which I'm pretty sure I have it, check in the description and it will be there. So once again, I don't know anything about this town. I know I've seen like one picture of it and it looked cute, so I don't even remember what the picture looks like, honestly, but we're just going to go ahead and visit it. Okay, so here we are. Ooh. It's definitely hacked. I didn't know if it was hacked or not, but there are benches here. How do you... Hmm. What happens whenever red tries to spawn in? What does that do to the benches? I don't know. That would be interesting to see. Because I'm pretty sure he would spawn right there. Oh, no, no, no. It's completely hacked because the town tree isn't even here. There's this cool little fountain instead. And I love it in this rainy atmosphere. I don't think we've had a rainy town so far in this week anyways. I'm pretty sure we've been to rainy towns before, but we have these beautiful street lamps on either side. I just, I'm really enjoying this. We have a few outfits set out for us. We have a bulb popper. We have tortoise specs. Um, blue down jacket. I haven't heard of a lot of these. White formal pants, those I have heard of. Hiking boots. Okay, what's this one? A bat umbrella. Automatically. I love that. So we're gonna see what this is. I probably recognize it. I just don't remember it. Oh, it's just a black umbrella. Not as cool as I thought it was gonna be, but still nice. We have pleather pants, black denim jacket, green knit hat, and a leaf. So this looks like it's a very edgy outfit. And I'm not a very edgy person, so we're gonna wear this just to see. Because I don't think my character's ever really dressed very edgy, so let's let him do that. Oh, I see a cat back there. Hello, friend. We have a leaf in our mouth. Very nice. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's cat. Hello, my friend. Here to join us. Thank you. <laughs> I love cat. So funny looking. Ah, that's so mean. Okay, so this look definitely doesn't really suit my character, but it's okay. We're not even gonna wear shoes. Shoes are for chumps. Okay. What's this? Is this coffee? Oh, it's a sparkler. That's cool. Oh, there's more stuff over here. Okay, so they set out a bunch of different outfits for us. Let's see what they are. Silver frames, a beret, academy uniform, white stockings, Mary Janes, and a present. Let's open the present. It is a blue glow wand. We will actually know my umbrella. That's okay. We don't need an umbrella. <laughs> uh, round glasses over here. Heart bopper. Ooh, I might have to change outfits. Okay. Sweater dress, yes. I think we wore this in the last episode, didn't we? But you know, I can't resist. We're gonna put on this outfit. Cat's just here to greet us. Hello. <laughs> I honestly just think, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the glasses, but this just suits my character a little bit better. <laughs> now, where should we go first? I'm thinking probably to the upper left if there's a way to. I'm trying to follow the map pretty well. Don't know, is this even a path? I don't think so. Let's go this way, I think. There's a lot of thick stone bricks is the path. There are different colors and some of them have more bricks than others in them to kind of give it a variety. Let's see who lives here. We have Tabby. Oh, was that Tabby and not Cat? Were y'all screaming at me? Maybe. I thought that was- the hold on, now I'm bothered. Now it's bugging me. I want to figure out- was that cat? I could have sworn that was cat. No, it was Tabby. Tabby's the one with the open mouth. <sighs> I messed it up. I'm sorry. You guys were probably all screaming at me, but it's okay. They look similar, okay? They're both kind of scary looking. <laughs> I still love them though because they are cats. Did we already look at this house? I feel like we did, but I can't remember. Yes, anchovy. I think he's the bird. Okay, let's go up this way. Okay, maybe never mind, because that's a bridge across to there, and I don't want to cross the bridge just yet. I want to finish this section of town first. Always try to divide it up by the river. Looks like we have a lot of blue hydrangeas out here. 
And just a lot of plants scattered around. I th but I think that's about it for the path, for the places other than the paths. Oh, this is cat. So there is both cat and tabby. So, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Oh, we can go down to the beach. And there's tabby. They're tricking us. Okay. Oh, down here we have... Oh, little villager's house. Hello. Charlie, just passing through. Oh, he's like a little guy just living on the beach. Or she. They. We'll go with they. <laughs> My character's kind of confusing, too, because technically he's a boy villager, but I decided I wanted a girl villager, but I didn't want to remake my whole town, so he just dresses up like a girl, and that's fine, because who really cares? Like, honestly, who cares what you wear? You know? Like, why does it matter? Oh, the town trees down here? That's really unique. I don't think I've ever seen that done before. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's a little illuminated heart out there. That is possibly the cutest thing I have ever seen. I know I say that about a lot of things, but I think that just topped it off. Okay, is there anything this way? Oh, I sat on the bench. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go ahead and run. Oh, nope, there's nothing over here. The beach ends. I really like how the villager lives down there. That's cute. Excuse us, Tabby, friend. <laughs> This is Cat's house. Okay, they're here confusing me still. We have Bones' house. Let's go up it this way. I love rainy towns. I realize, I think the next town that we're doing is going to be a wintry one, because I don't think we've done one so far, and that's weird, because I think wintry towns are actually my favorite, because I love winter. Okay, so it looks like we have the cafe. We have another bridge, but we won't cross it yet. Oh, I like how it's like... Has these little bushes here with a little triangular shape to it. Very cool, not just square like most things usually are. Now let's go up here. Don't think we've been up here. Yeah, this leads to a bridge. And I think we've explored everything on that part of town. So we'll go ahead and cross it. But first we'll go this way. Okay, this leads us up to this little ooh park type area. We have a little sheep right here. Hello, friend. There's a fountain with a lot of street lamps around. That looks very cool. Oh, and there's the, um, town hall. I forgot the word for it. How did I do that? But it is the modern town hall, and the flag is just a white flag. Do they give up? Do they surrender? I do not know. And then the retail's, like, lined up right next to that. I like how they're lined up. That's really cool. And then we have another villager house, or a couple of them. We have Vesta, who I think was that sheep. And Daisy, who... isn't that a dog, I think? I think it's a little white dog, but I can't quite remember. We have a bus stop right here with a present in it. Should I open the present? I guess I will. Curiosity's getting to me now. It's some beans, so we could throw some beans if we wanted to. And then this is that bridge that we saw earlier, but we won't cross it. We'll go back this way. Back onto this path with all the things lined up. And then we have the train station, which looks like it is the modern train station. Ooh, we have some trees right here covering the train track type thing, or the little path to it, I guess. That's weird, I don't think I've seen that before either. Let's keep following the path, I keep trying to go off of it. Let's see, this looks like it's her house. Hello, this is Anise. Who are you? I don't know. I don't know who I am. Let's go in here. Ooh. Okay, so it's a little empty in here. We just have this and this. Little spooky. What does it mean? I don't know. Now let's go this way. Hello, who are you? Dot. Watch out for puddles. Yeah, I bet there would be a lot around here. Let's go in Dot's house, see if there's anything in there. It seems like usually with hack towns, they don't focus very much on the interiors, only the exterior, and it looks like here we can't really go anywhere, and it kind of looks like storage anyways. Let's go ahead and go up here. Hmm, very strange. I wish some hack towns would focus more on the interiors, but it's completely up to the mayor, like it's none of my business. Let's go ahead and leave this house. Okay, which way to go, I guess? Oh, this leads back down to the beach. Which is a different part of the beach, so we'll go ahead and wander around here. There's a lot of evergreens down here. Definitely not something you see very often on the beach, but very cool nonetheless. 
I mean, maybe in European beaches or northern beaches, I guess you could. Maybe not on the sand. I don't know how well they grow on sand. We have a little illuminated tree right here. Reminds me very much of Christmas. So excited for Christmas. Oh, another illuminated tree. More evergreens. Lots of flowers and mushrooms and just stuff everywhere. And then a little stump with the illuminated heart back there. I love that heart so much. Okay, let's go ahead and run. Try not to trample the flowers too much, even though technically, oops, I think I just killed one. Technically, it doesn't matter. It won't hurt the dream address at all, or the actual village. But I always still feel guilty anyways. I never run when I'm in other people's villages. It just, just don't do it. It's a bad idea. You might offend someone. Okay, let's go down this way. We have a little clock right there. The path seems to be a little more scattered. We have a stone tablet in the pond with some weeds growing around it, which makes it look like little plants growing in the water, which is cute. Ooh, we have a lot of illuminated arches. That's cool, I like that. Let's keep going down this way. Looks like we have an animal house right here. We have coal, and then we have the lighthouse right here. Very nice. Let's see who lives here. We have Pappy. Hmm, I think, is that the deer, I think? I don't quite remember. I feel like we're missing something. I think we are. Let's go... I think we need to go up this way somewhere. But I don't know where the path leads. Here's a path right here. Oh, we have Stonehenge. Yeah, we haven't seen this. So we definitely haven't finished yet. Am I missing anything else? Probably. Let's go up this way some more because I think I see some animal houses that we haven't seen before. We have Tutu's house. I don't recognize that. I don't know who Tutu is. Hmm. And Mitzi. I think Mitzi's a little cat. I used to have Mitzi when I first got the game. I think it was one of my original villagers. But now I think that was it, if I'm not mistaken. But yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little town tour video. It's only a few more days before I get to reveal my surprises for you guys. So I hope you are as excited as... Excited as excited as I am for it. I'm so excited. I can't even talk, even though I can never talk anyways, because that's just how I am. But anyways, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.